Detroit has been a great host to a number of big events over the years. The Super Bowl 2006, Final Four in 2009. Even though it doesn't seem like that long ago, it has been, though, 10 years since that. And that uh, was the discussion of uh, the focus of a discussion of a Detroit Free Press panel this morning. How can Detroit attract big events again? And as Nick Monticelli reports, it was a powerhouse panel with answers that aren't all that easy to fix. There's a multitude of items on the list for why Detroit has a hard time attracting big events, infrastructure, capital, the number of hotel rooms. But inside the towns, and the number one thing they discussed is the same old problem we've always had, perception. We still have a perception problem. The panel included Bud Danker, the president of Penske, Denise Illich, and Rod Wood, the president of the Detroit Lions. Detroit has been home to huge events, the MLB All-Star Games in 2005, the Super Bowl in 2006, but those were more than a decade ago. Now we have major events, the auto show and the Grand Prix, but how do we attract more? The negative perception of the city is the first problem, but not the only one. For instance, Wood says before competing for events like the Super Bowl or the NFL Draft, you have to have 10 or $50 million in the bank. Other big cities have tax money set aside. Michigan does not. We've been trying for the last couple of years to get through something through the Michigan legislature to raise tax revenue so that when we go in to bid for a final four, we can say we have X amount of millions of dollars in the bank. A lack of hotel space downtown is also a major issue. We're short north of 5,000 rooms in downtown Detroit. So it's not a, it's not a, like we need one more hotel. It's, it's a big number. But above all is the perception, specifically crime and blight. Stories of serial killers or shootings in Greektown certainly don't help, but this panel argues most, not all, but most crime is outside the downtown core. So it's time to focus time and money in the suburbs. The hub has now been fixed, still needs help. Now it's time to take the spokes and move our resource and our focus and timing to the suburbs as well who need that help. In Birmingham, Nick Monticelli, Local 4. A big surprise here. The panel also said weather has been a problem, but with the International Auto Show being moved to the summer next year, they're hoping that'll give the 5,000 journalists who come in for it from all around the world every year a chance to get out to ex outside and experience more that the city has to offer.